Okay, welcome to another uh, lesson in Autodesk Inventor from Mr. Esterbrooks. Um, today we're going to take a uh, uh, puzzle cube part, any one of your puzzle cube parts. Actually, I would like you to do this with all of your puzzle cube parts. And I'm going to show you how to put your initials on them. That way when we 3D print them uh, in the lab, we'll be able to tell which part belongs to whom. Now, I'd like to do this uh, so that the initials are inside, so you can't see them from the outside of the cube. So try and pick a surface on your puzzle cube parts. Um, like I know on the green part here, this surface is going to go on the inside when the puzzle's all assembled. So um, uh, when we're all done, you're going to have your initials and maybe even the year that you did this, because, you know, 30 years from now when you uh, go back and show this to your grandkids, you might forget what year you did it. So if you have enough room, we'll put the year on it as well. All right, so here's how we do this. You've got your finished, uh, completed puzzle cube part. You need to start and pick the surface you're going to do this on. I guess you could choose to put it on the outside so that it shows. That would be okay. Um, but I'm going to hide mine on the inside. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, rotate this so that I can write my initials left to right. And um, we're going to use the, uh, the text tool. And I think uh, if you have a, th a piece that's three cubes wide, there should be enough room to uh, put in the year as well. So we're going to use uh, Tahoma, and we're going to make this a quarter of an inch tall, and uh, bold makes it a little bit. There we go. So it's, it's upside down, but that's okay, because we can just rotate that around. Oops. Now, you'll notice that it's kind of not centered, so um, I don't like that too much. I'm going to want to center that, so open up the uh, dialog box for your format text, and you want to pick center horizontally and also center vertically. Then that way, it'll center it inside the uh, rectangular uh, marquee, and you can kind of position that approximately in the center of your, uh, you know, that face there. All right, so then we finished that. Now you've got your initials, and if you have enough room, you can fit the year in there. You'll notice when I did the yellow part, it's a small part, um, so I only had room for my initials. But you might be able to find room to put the year in on one of the parts if uh, you've got a longer part. Now we're going to use the uh, emboss tool, but we're going to se select engrave. And then all you need to do is choose the uh, text outline, select engrave, leave it at 0.1 depth, Click OK, and you'll notice now it's going to engrave that right into the part, okay? And that's pretty much all there is to it. So uh, I've done that on my yellow part. I've done that on my green part. And then I'm going to go back and finish that on my uh, red, blue, and pink parts as well. Thanks for watching.